Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get the fitted values and the residuals from linear regression model. And obviously, R will do most of the heavy lifting for you. All you have to do here is to understand the mechanisms behind uh, these uh, statistics. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to use the same example that I was showing you earlier. Here, we are interested in explaining salaries in terms of uh, return on equity. Our Y variable is the salary. And the uh, X variable is return on equity. We are going to run the OLS regression and get the summary statistics. Here is our intercept and this is our beta 1 coefficient or slope parameter. So what we can do is we can get the fitted values as the fitted OLS. This command will do is it will fit the values in, uh, in R. And I'm going to show you how exactly R will do this in the next uh, slide. And then you can get the residuals from uh, this linear regression model using this reset command this reset function it will, will give you residuals that is the difference between our actual values and our fitted values as i showed you on the graph in uh, in an earlier video so what i'm going to do i'm going to calculate these and save these as y hat and u hat and then i'm going to generate a table so what i'm doing here is i am uh, using this function called cbind which is column bind and i'm binding y variable x variable and remember i defined y variable and x variables here and then i'm binding another column y hat which will be our fitted values and u hat which will be the residual of the fitted value so i'm going to run this and i'm going to generate this table too. so let's have a look at this okay so here are those values first of all uh, these are the residuals that we are interested in one is the beta, param beta 0 and the other one is beta 1 parameter. So remember from our discussion earlier, each y hat it is calculated using this formula. So for example, I'm going to show you uh, this first observation, how it is calculated. So we know our beta 0 parameter, it is 963. So we're going to plug this number 963.19 plus beta 1 parameter is 18.5, 0. And our x value for the first observation is 14.1. So I'm going to plug this value and get 1224.05. And this is exactly equal to this value. You can keep plugging on this return on equity values and get all these other values. So that's how this y hat value is uh, obtained. Then we can get this u hat value. Remember, u hat, uh, let's call it u hat 1. It is the difference between our actual value and our fitted value. Okay, so what was the actual value? Y hat 1, it's right here. It was 1095. So we're going to plug this 1095 here minus Y hat 1. Uh, it's from here. 1, 2, 2, 4.05. And our residual in this case is minus 1, 2, 9.05. And it is exactly equal to this residual. Okay, so this is how you get all these uh, values. The important part here is to visualize how these values are achieved rather than calculating all these values by hand. These commands are doing exactly the same thing. They are plugging in these values and giving you these outputs. So that's how you get all these values.